In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for nickel and then the nickel 2 plus and nickel 3 plus ions. So to do that, let's start out with nickel. And when we look on the periodic table, here's nickel. We can see that its atomic number, that's 28. So that means it has 28 protons. That's the atomic number. Atomic number equals protons. We also know this is a neutral element. It doesn't have the plus after it. So this is neutral nickel. So the protons will equal electrons. We have 28 electrons to write the electron configuration here for nickel. We use this periodic table. We have the orbitals. They're broken up into these different blocks. That's very helpful. You can also use this chart. There's a link in the description how to do that. I prefer this method. We'll start with 1s. So we'll put our 1s here. S can hold up to two electrons, 1s1, 1s2. And then we go to 2s, 2s1, 2s2. And we've used four electrons. We have 28. After the 2s, we go over. Here's the 2p. 2p, the p's can hold up to six. So we'll put six in there. We've used 10 electrons. 3s2, 3p6. And then from 3p, we go to the 4s2. We've used 20. We only need 28. So for the 3D, D can hold up to 10, but we don't need 10. We only need eight to get a total of 28 electrons. So we'll just go 3D, eight. And that's the electron configuration for nickel, neutral nickel, as found on the periodic table. You'll often see the electron configuration written this way, but since we're getting further into the periodic table here, it's probably better to write it like this, where we have the 3D before the 4S. This more accurately represents how the orbitals fill. And then when we have ionization, when we form ions, we lose this 4s first. So we'll write it like this. Either way is probably OK. They both describe the same orbitals, though. Let's write this in a condensed notation. So nickel is 3d8. So let's put that here, 3d1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's where nickel is on the periodic table. So we'll go to the noble gas before nickel. That's argon right here. Then we write AR and we put it in brackets and then we write what comes after AR. We have 4s1, 4s2 and then we have up to 3d8. So that's the condensed notation for nickel. Let's use this to write the electron configuration for Ni2 plus and then Ni3 plus. So you remember that we had the 4s written after the 3d. Let's do that. So for Ni2+, plus, that means that we've lost two electrons. You lose electrons, which are negative, you become positive. So we have Ni2+, plus, we lost two electrons. So let's just get rid of these electrons here in the 4s2. That'll give us this notation here where we end in the 3d8. For the nickel 3+, plus, we've lost a total of three electrons here. So we get rid of our 4s2, and we'll get rid of one of the electrons in this d orbital here. That'll give us 3d7. So that's it. These are the electron configurations for nickel and the nickel 2 plus and nickel 3 plus ions. First, you write the neutral element and then you remove electrons depending on what the charge is. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.